Okay. Whew. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I got the panoptic set up, and that's actually this video. I wanted to walk through the panoptics down view specifically for ice fishing. I never really got to use it a whole lot. Open water fishing, it's a little bit difficult to point it straight down on your trolling motor unless you're in really calm water. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of fish down here. I actually caught one small crappie. I think there are a bunch of crappie. Uh, there could be a couple perch mixed in. But right now, I'm on one of these uh, just small pothole lakes. And the way these crappies set up during the winter time is they just suspend over the deepest part of the lake. And that's where I am right now. The deepest parts are like 40, 45 feet. I'm in 38 feet of water right now. Um, ideally, I'd like to find them suspended into the 25 to 30 foot range or higher. Um, but right now it looks like they're just below 30 feet. Not ideal, specifically if you're trying to uh, practice catch and release. But if I catch some good ones, I'm gonna keep them. And the goal here is actually try to raise these crappie up above that 30 foot mark, give them a higher chance to survive when I release them. I hope the audio is decent. It's pretty windy out right now. Uh, we got a big warm front come, came through and that's what happens a lot of times. You get a lot of wind, bluebird skies, but with warm water, or but with this warmer temp, it's actually melting this ice and that fresh water kind of going back into the system. Hopefully it'll trigger a bite. It's 1.30, we're trying to get some midday crappie. Oh, yeah, oh we've got one. Got one looking at it right here. So this is my lure. There's two fish right below it. Uh, but these pothole lakes, the way you got to target them is you just drill a bunch of holes and a lot of times it's hole hopping on a regular transducer like this hummingbird that I have here. The cone is only, uh, it's a 9 or a 20 degree cone, so, oh, here we go, come on, hit it. I don't think you wanted it. Nope. Anyway, so those regular transducers that you see all the time, those flasher units, they're usually a 9 or a 20 degree cone. The 9 degree gives you a full, it gives you a much narrower view of the bottom because it helps you focus in deeper water. Um, but with that 20 degree, if you're running 200 kilohertz, it's only one third of the depth that you're seeing. This audio probably sucks. There he is, got him that time. That feels like a good two. That feels like a good fish. Come on, be a good crappie. We got four pound test, yes! There we go. Nice big winter crappie. These guys are pale because they're so far down. I'm actually gonna keep this guy, pull out the measuring sticks on this guy. But there's some big ones mixed down there. Feels good to put a slab on the ice. That's at least a 10, that's at least 11 inch fish right there. You have no idea, November sucked for me. I know it's windy, the audio is probably not that great, but November sucked for me. It feels so good to put these decent, decent sized crappie on the ice. But with these smaller transducer units, or these flasher units, you're not seeing the big picture on the bottom. Wow, that is so much wind. Okay, well hopefully I can show you. There's some bigger marks down there. I'm gonna get back down there, but with this panoptics unit, hopefully I'm not gonna have to voice over this, but with this panoptics unit, you, you can see on the top of the screen, I can see 20 feet to the left and to the right. Now, I'm gonna give an overlay of it and how it works, but basically, I have the sonar, the transducer facing left and right right now. So I can see, and it's still the one third the width, so I'm going to see my one third of 40. Oh boy, we're doing math here. So you'd be able to see your 14 feet back and forth. So north and south here, even though that's not really the direction. But I can see 20 feet left and right. And I can adjust how far out I want to see left and right. Because right now these fish, you can see them, they're 10, 15 feet. This one's actually, what is that? Five feet to the right of me. And that's the difference. You can actually see a lot more of the lake bottom and a lot more of the water column with these panoptics units. Now I understand they're not for everyone, okay? They're a little expensive, I get that. But the way I looked at it was I'm using this for both ice fishing and on the boat. I, this is the exact same model, same transducer I mount on my trolling motor. It takes about 10 minutes to take it off the boat and make it back into this uh, ice fishing kit. This is actually the kit I bought was the ice fishing kit. <laughs> Can't believe I got some good crappie. 
about time. Oh, I forgot to turn the camera on, but I got another one here. It's not as big, but it's still a good crappie. Not as big, but I'm gonna keep this guy too. Look at these guys. I mean, this is still a 10 inch fish. This guy was 12, or just under 12. Let's see what this guy is. Yeah, there we go. He's, he's exactly 10 inches. There we go. There's two on the board. I'm actually hammering this spoon. I'll show you what the spoon I'm using here. Dang, it is windy. Here's what I'm using. It's just a, this is a forge uh, spoon. I believe it's by, oops, this is a forge spoon. I believe it's by North and Tackle, I think. I'm gonna have to look it up. I will find it and link it in the description below. And I'm just tipping it with a minnow. Some small crappie minnows here. And These fish are hitting it right about that 28, 29 foot mark. Both of them, that's where they hit it. They're aggressive, they're chasing it up. And I'm thinking it's because we gotta warm up. I mean, this ice is melting. And that fresh water is getting into the system and triggering a midday bite. I mean, it's 145. Crappie are usually low light biters and I can't believe, I'm so happy I caught a, finally caught a 12 inch fish. I didn't expect it out of this lake. I was actually planning on filming a, a bluegill video today, but I couldn't find a bluegill, so. I figured I'd try these crappie. They're really pale though, probably because they're so deep. So there's a fish way on the left side of my screen here. That's a good size fish too. But these pothole lakes, you can either just drill a bunch of holes and just hole hop in, in the deepest part of the basin. So it looked like there were a bunch of anglers out here actually doing that exact thing. There's probably at least 50 holes drilled in this little basin area, the deepest part of the lake. And, but with the pan optics, I can see left and right. And then when I put it into forward view mode, I don't have to see very far. I don't have to drill as many holes because I can see 100 feet out and I can actually see the schools of fish in what direction I got to drill. It's pretty nice. Uh, but again, if you're going to buy it, preferably both ice fish with it and open water fishing, I understand it's expensive. It's, you know, I get it. But it is pretty nice. Big camera fell over, but I got a good sized fish right below it. Come on, hit it. That's a good fish. This wind is killing me today. Hope he's coming for it. Come on, hit it. There he is. Got him. Got him. It's not the biggest, not the biggest one. He's probably only about nine. Not the biggest fish. Oh, I got him. Got him that time. He doesn't feel very big unless he... Oh, oh now, he's... now he's got some weight. Now he's got some weight. Oh, maybe not. Oh. oh, he's a decent fish. That's a decent crappie right there. There we go. Let's see what he measures out to. This guy's just a, another 10 inch fish right there. Got three on the board. Oh, here comes again. Got him that time. Got him that time. Ooh, feels, feels like a decent fish too. Oh, oh. Yeah. Not really. 
He's only about a well, it's only about an eight inch fish. But it's fish number six for the day. He's barely hooked too. I think it's cool. Coming right out. See you, buddy. Well, I was not paying attention. I actually was uh, going back to the car to get a new camera battery for you. And uh, got this guy on a dead stick. Another 12 inch slab. I got, I got four total right here. Two 12 inch crappie, two tens. I think I caught one nine and I think I caught an eight and I let those go. But the sun's going down behind me here. I probably got, I don't know, maybe got like 40 minutes of light left. So we're gonna see if the crop bite really turns on this last 40 minutes here. The wind has not stopped, so I apologize for the audio. Probably have to voice over. I'll probably have to voice over everything I do, but what are you gonna do? You're in the elements, it's ice fishing. I didn't know there was this size of crappie in this lake. I knew there was eight to nine inch fish. I am so happy right now that I put 12 inch slabs on the ice. Let's see if I can put a few more with that spoon, live minnows, early ice crappie fishing at its finest.